see what I'm doing. This is a uh, Luke's knife I've been working on. And I'm gonna give it a light hardening. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, beeswax. You can get it from uh, beekeepers or uh, arts and craft stores. Cheapest way is to get it from a beekeeper. Hey, look at that. That looks so cool. <coughs> and uh, if you tried cutting it, it will uh, clog up the edge on your knife pretty bad. The easiest way I've found is to uh, just hit it with a hammer. It will break off shards. Use a tin can without the uh, lining in it. Sometimes they have the white stuff in plastic. And uh, that will do for now. Use some kind of a water bath to put, to book, to put the can in. Uh, so I'm gonna get it, get it lit and uh, and something I have made it's a fire. Uh, you can buy it very expensive from me or you can make it yourself. <laughs> uh, a piece of foam uh, and a piece of stick of some some description. You can buy uh, pencils. They are like this, much neater, of course. Uh, if you use a pencil with with bristles, uh, they are uh, glued inside the metal collar, and if you heat up that glue. Uh, they will come off. So it's very important to remember never to dip them in the wax further down uh, than the bristles are. Otherwise you will heat up the metal and the glue. Uh, I'm speaking of my of, of uh, discoveries I've made. So I'm doing this the safest way possible and uh, gonna fill it up with some more wax so it sits on the bottom and uh, get back to you. Clean, nice, no mess. takes a bit of time. Um, I just was uh, thinking about one thing. If you don't have an old foam mattress or something, you might have a cat. Uh, just stick in the tail and yeah, they clean it off themselves. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's made now, Peter. Uh, just a joke. It's quite cold today. It's uh, minus eight Celsius. Uh, the upper teens if you're talking Fahrenheit. So it will take a while for it to to melt. Uh, but it's rare to be home at this time and uh, to enjoy the life and nice weather. So that's why. <laughs> Back in a bit. Something just struck me. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm using a water bath and not putting it directly on the stove. Uh, main reason, it's a flammable substance. And uh, you don't want to overheat the uh, beeswax either. Uh, it also has some antibacterial anti properties. And uh, my, <laughs> my theory, <laughs> take it or leave it is that if you heat it up too too far um, uh, that will ruin it. Uh, I have no uh, 
whatsoever of uh, uh, proof. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's just my my thing. So uh, uh, I have no idea how, how <laughs> high it's been heated up already. Uh, so take it or leave it. Or if you have the right information, please share. Went out again. <laughs> yep, the wax is melted now. And, uh, time to apply it. I'm working a bit against the temperature of course and uh, it uh, cools off quite fast but uh, in the next stage I will fix that so, gonna keep doing this and uh, get back to you so this is what the sheet looks like with the wax on there are two parts I haven't waxed and that's uh, the loop and behind it. The reason why is I want it to be flexible when it's done. Uh, so I'm gonna go easy here and uh, just gonna heat it gently. I don't wanna, uh, what do you call it, burn the leather so it gets so stiff that you can't uh, move it. And uh, I have a piece of cloth here that I'm gonna wipe off the excess and a uh, heat gun. <laughs> I'm going to continue doing this off camera and uh, get back to you. So, the leather is uh, still warm, a bit warmer than hand warmth uh, body temperature. And uh, it is a little bit tacky, uh, but a uh, bit more heat and that will disappear, and a bit of rag. So when you're done, you will have uh, uh, pieces of cloth with wax, with sorry, with wax in them. So that's a fire start, of course. So. Uh, Looks good. Uh, because of the shape of the handle, uh, I have to be uh, very cautious about uh, this area here. And uh, I can't be too, uh, what do you say, to harm it too much. But uh, it's in there. So uh, a bit more work and it's done. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, and uh, this is it, Luke. <laughs> so a uh, bit more work, as I said, and it's on your uh, on your way. It's on the way to you, I should say. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.